Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your Old Nerd of the Day, and I do try things so you don't have to. This is a weird one. Went to the Frozen section and found a new Marie Callender chicken pot pie, but this is no ordinary chicken pot pie. Yeah! If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, you can hit that little subscribe button and the bell notification. That'll let you know anytime I put out a new video. Okay, let's do this. This one kind of scares me. This is the Marie Callender's plant-based chicken pot pie. What in the hell are they thinking? Okay, so this is a big puppy. This is a 15 ounce, one of the bigger pot pies. This is made with Gardein plant-based chicken. See how they spell that? Chick apostrophe N, not even a real chicken, so they can't have that little E. So it does have microwave and conventional oven instructions on it. I'm gonna put it in the nuker for the sake of time. Um, not my preferred method. I usually put it in the oven because I like the way it crusts up and makes that crust real nice and brown and just, mm. But I do love Marie Callender pot pies. These are my favorite pot pies, so the only thing that can bring these down is that fake chicken. And with that, I say we head into the Old Nerd Kitchen, try this thing out. Let's go. So how you do this in the microwave, you open the carton and push the tab, you peel back along the perforation and completely tear off the top, you slit the top crust. Make sure you do that, that's important. And then you microwave in the carton for eight to nine and a half minutes. Afterwards, let's stand for five minutes and that's it. And I'm gonna do this for the full nine and a half minutes. Here we go. One pair of pants later. And there it is. I did let this stand in the nuker for the five minutes. And I can tell you right now, this does not smell like a normal Marie Callender's chicken pot pie, which is not a good thing. One reason I don't like doing pot pies in the nuker is it tends to leak out like this. Doesn't do that in the oven. This really didn't do too bad though. Okay, let's turn this over and came out nice and easy. And let's dissect this and see what's in it. All right, if you take a look, there is some of that Gardein plant-based chicken. It does look like a regular piece of chicken. Certainly doesn't smell like it though, but in typical Marie Callender's pot pie fashion, a lot of gravy, a lot of veggies. You can see the peas in there. You can see the carrots in there. Um, looks pretty normal. All right, so I'm going to get some peas, carrots, and some of that fake chicken on there, a um, little bit of crust, make sure I get some nice gravy. Let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm gonna try a piece of the chicken all by itself so I don't get it confused with the other textures for one thing. I'm not liking the texture. Let's try a little piece of that usually really good crust. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the sake of cementing those flavors, I'm gonna get everything on the fork again, give it another shot. Okay, let's take this by the numbers. This is not a regular Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Um, everything else is the same. Crust is good. The veggies are good. The gravy is flavorful. But that chicken is the thing, or that non-chicken is the thing that throws everything off. The texture is soft and weird. Um, and, and the flavor is not a chicken flavor. It's like something they said, here we want you to be a chicken, and that thing said, I'll really try hard, but it failed. And it's got a, a, an unusual aftertaste to it, too. 
All right, I misplaced the damage, but uh, I got this in the frozen section and I believe it was $3.29, which is actually nice. They didn't jack up the price because it was a plant-based something or other, or a healthier something or other. Just a regular price for that size pot pie. All right, on the Nerdometer, I would give the Marie Callender's plant-based chicken pot pie. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna give this a low meh. <clears throat> the only thing saving it from an It Sucks is the regular stuff of the pot pie, the peas, the carrots, the gravy, the crust. Everything else is good, but the, the fake chicken just ruined it. The strange aftertaste and, and just the, the flavor of something that just does not want to be food. Doesn't have any kind of striations, doesn't have the, the, the texture of chicken when you bite into it which throws me off. It's kind of like a, a, a soy type of texture. And there's a lot of that non-food too. So if you end up liking it, there's a ton of it for you. But the more I ate it, the more I tasted this thing, the more I figure it's gonna be dog food. I don't even know if I should do that to Avery. It may be cruel and unusual punishment. Somebody may turn me into PETA. I'm just telling you kids, for the sake of all that is holy, that is your taste buds, don't do fake meat. Now they also have a beef option. So a fake beef option, if you wanna try that. But anyway, if you guys have tried the chicken or the beef fake meat, <laughs> Thing, pot pie by Marie Callender's. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on it. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate your your likes and your subscribes and your shares and your comments. I love gabbing with you guys, as I always say. And uh, check out the links below down in the description for all kinds of groovy, nerdy stuff. And if you do all that, you too can become a part of the old nerd crony community. Uh -huh. You guys have a freaking awesome day. And I'll talk to you again. Bye now.